Hey, what's doing? It's Nookie. This is Replay, and I'm going to be jumping into Baker Boy's new album, Giller. Seeing him come from cloud nine to where he is now and seeing the growth of him as an artist kind of growing into himself and pushing the boundaries and whatnot. So, I'm, yeah, I'm pumped to get into this one. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is the opening joint announcing the journey. Let's go. Boom, there's the start. Traditional song from up, up his ways. Yeah, kicking it off with something that's as old as time itself, you know what I mean? So yeah, bringing that traditional stuff to the new day. That'd be one of the song lines that belongs to him and his skin name up there through their system and whatnot. And as a black follower, when you hear something like that, you're like, boom, here we go. So yeah, hectic way to open it up. Track two, it's called Survive. And even that, the, the title of Survive, you know it's gonna be mad. As a black fella, like, um, that's a pretty, pretty universal one. Just, you know, there's probably a few songs out there called Survive, Survival. We have survived. That word is something that we hold and we share, and it's a, it's a powerful word for us, because, you know, there goes, we have survived. <laughs> Ah, yeah, see this? It's coming with the hard stuff now, and that's, that's the shit I like. You know, I'm hearing this, and I'm kind of picturing myself walking around Call of Duty, you know what I mean? Trying to get a scope and that, so like, and it pumped me up. Yeah, this um really knocked Baker Boy up a few notches in my book when it comes to rap. If, uh, if the rest of the album's gonna be like this, then we're on. Yeah, see, like, we just survive, we just survive. They, they, they rocked up here and tried to kill us, and we're still here, you know what I mean? So, we survive. Power, lad, power. Yeah. Yeah. Got to stop it again, eh? Like, there was a few lines ago, he was rapping about being like a T-Rex, like the lad's legit sounding like a T-Rex on the song right now. Which again, something I, I like, I never would have thought I'd, the, the kid from Cloud9 comes out and does this, like, caters to my taste in music and whatnot, so yeah, hectic, lad. Shout out Zazu, you know what I mean? Like the standard rapper would, you know, be doing lines about Scar, I'm your father, Mufasa, Young King, Prince to be crowned Simba. Baker Boy's on here shouting out Zazu, so yeah, another tick. Shout out Zazu. That chorus just gets me pumped up. I don't know how we continue to survive. I'll tell you, it's black magic, that's how we survive. Again, my little traditional breakdown here. Got the Yiddicky going, which is, you know, comes from where he's from, so mad. With my survivability now, rest on the fact that I have to share that journey. Boom, Jack Charles, legend in the game, Uncle Jack Charles. Shout out Uncle Jack. Baker Boy's already killing festivals. Wait till he drops this shit on him. Again, like tapping in an elder, somebody like Uncle Jack Charles. Showing that respect to, to the older guys. Completely different fields, you know? Uncle Jack Charles was an actor, can sing too, had a mad voice. Me and him, uh, we were in a play together and we went to uh, like a circus show after it and the, the Governor General was there and old Uncle Jack, he walks up to me. How's it going, gub? So yeah, black fellas out there, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, this is uh, track three, My Mind. Yeah, see, out, out the gate, he's taking you on a ride. It kicks off, boom, traditional, you know what I mean? Getting that fire ready, and then hits you with survive, straight energy. It's only been a few seconds, but it sounds like he's, he's bringing it down, you know, which again, just shows, shows diversity, and that's like, that's kind of what you, what you want in a project. Bit of a ride, bit of a roller coaster, so, you know, I think that's what he's about to do here, and that's a smart move. Yeah. Keep running laps again, out of sight, you're back again, it is what you make it so that I need. Yeah, it's like, you know, Baker Boy on his Bruno Mars tip and that. Little song for his Dubai there, for his Gully. Nice little tune. Mad. Mad. Uh, so yeah, here's uh, track four, Ride. So this joint coming in with the drum break like that and the did just like 
I can see, you know, Baker Boy getting his two-step onto this and, you know, busting out a windmill if he can still do them. That's kind of what you know him for, you know what I mean? Like, you dance a rapper. I think a lot of that influence comes from his old man, from what I've heard, you know, the first Baker Boy and that. Which, again, I can relate to on that because I took my name from my old man too, so, you know, we might have to fork out and give him a cut one day, but for now, we eating. Oh, yeah. Nice cruisy tune, you know, I just want to jump in the Merc and go to Bondi or something listening to this, eh? It's probably why they called it Ride. <laughs> the traditional language there, the Yungo Mata, like it works. It works, it fits mad. And again, that's something Baker Boy's been known for. His whole career kind of coming up, mixing his traditional language with, you know, new stuff. Which again, yeah, sick. Baker Boy's style is very throwback late 80s, early 90s type of rap, you know what I mean? Like, which again is refreshing, like he doesn't sound like a little Yachty or a, you know what I mean? Or Kendrick Lamar or something like that. You know, they must have had been banging MC Hammer up there in Arnhem Land or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, cool to see, because you don't get too much of that these days, you know? Like, you listen to rappers and you, you can you can pick the influence, you're like, oh yeah, he listens a lot to Kendrick. He listens a lot to J. Cole. He listens a lot to 50 Cent, you know? So yeah, to, to hear this, it's just like, yeah, throwback tunes. Some of the, the early stuff, you know, Beastie Boys type of MC Hammer. Again, so someone Baker Boy sort of reminds me a little bit of, you know, with the mad outfits and dancing and that. You know, MC Hammer was the shit growing up. Mum used to play MC Hammer a lot while she was cleaning the house. So I used to see mum dancing around the house to MC Hammer and that. It's a mad little breakdown, full sounds like a, just some Kanye production, like mad distortion, big drums, screams and stuff. Yeah, madness. Track five, which he, you know, he just dropped and it's been floating around, Butterflies. Yeah, whoever's writing the hooks and that's a gun, I hear you like <laughs> killing it. Take a jet, take a boat, you can get it how you want it, that's a matter of fact. Back up the hey, bag of boy, big ballin', you can get a jet or a boat, take it out, you want it. Mad. Yeah, this beat's hard. Whoever produced this, banger. So we're at track five now and I'm kind of getting a feel for what like Baker Boy and what he's doing at the moment, the, the project. So like I'm hearing this and I'm like, okay, he's very proud of who he is and where he's from. He likes to rep that. You know, he must, he's got himself in a little relationship. Very happy-go-lucky, positive uplifting tunes and um you know I, I usually like my shit a little dark like I, I like angry stuff you know but like I, I can get down to this this is um good shit yeah, here we go number six cool as hell I've been feeling like a lone wolf dancing in the street light howling at the moon now I put it on you cool as hell is that him on the hook Smooth individual old Baker boys, mad vocals. Maybe something should lean into it like a, a whole lot more. Yeah, so he like this is like a smooth song, but like he just snuck in some like real important messages there. It's like looking at yourself in the mirror, are you okay with what you see? Like is that person on track? You know what I mean? So it doesn't feel like a deep song. Taboo from Black Eyed Peas once told me years ago, he's like, you know, you want to talk about these things, but get people to dance to it. This lad's doing a good job at that. Now I put it on you. Cool as hell. I usually like my stuff very aggressive, like hitting your hard stuff. But like this is just, you can't deny this. This shit's just infectious. It catches you and keeps you in the, the whole time. Now I put it on you. There you go, cool as hell. All right, here we go, this is our track seven, it's called Move. I'm kind of thinking, will he pick it back up now? Like, you know, that energy, the fierceness come back at, at this point. So we'll see. Cause I just wanna move. 
conversation aren't we on rotation i'm gonna take my shot no curve no lots of content about his partner you in love there bros mad mad lad hectic seems to be like a reoccurring theme like his uh his culture and like his his life which is watching one from an artist to you know tell you their truth express what they're going through what they're doing and that was like legit like it looks like he's a happy follower and he's enjoying life and you ain't even trying no lies Lots of our uh, like dance references and songs and hooks and that. So yeah, if you've seen him live, that lad can dance. Netflix and chill, wrecking up my phone bill. Every love song got me caught in my feels. Netflix and chill, racking up this phone bill. What are you hot spotting the Netflix here, cause I Wi-Fi, bro. I gotta get on a Wi-Fi wave, lad. It's late in the day, but you wanna stay. Yeah, that was move. All right, here we go. So yeah, this is our track eight. It's called Headphones. Do we live to work, to work to live? Got me thinking what my purpose is. But emotion cause we all gotta eat. True, we all do gotta eat. Very true. Baker Boy linking up with Wilster. Uh, it just shows he knows what he's doing. Or the people around him know what they're doing. Because Wilster's got... All the runs on the boards. He's one of the, you know, one of the best here, hands down. One of the best producers here. Linking up with Wilster, that was a, that was a good move. Yeah, even Mansus kind of was knocking around Willie for a few years. So it was like the producers that kind of come after Wilster and stuff is a, is a good run of producers there. All from like that inner circle. Wilster, Solo, Mansus, Khaled. That's it. That's all you need right there. Perfect. All these uh, Baker Boy tunes, they kind of just, just grab you and keep you along for the ride. Will Stone Production, forget about it, you can't go wrong. He's legit, one of the best. He made this song just hanging out in the studio with Will Stone in Dallas. Uh, shout out Dallas Woods too, he's another like young gun. He can rap, check him out. I've heard some of the stuff he's sitting on too and like, if you aren't across the ladder already, you're about to be, that's for sure. So yeah, he's track nine, Somewhere Deep, and uh, this is the second song the lad ever wrote. The ocean is rising, some are deep, she hitting up, some are deep, hitting up. Wow, hectic. Yeah, mad, right? Out the gate, mad, mad. Uh, wanna tell you where we live? Here we go, there's our Arnhem Land reggae steez. I haven't heard Baker Boy do this style yet, so this is mad, because yeah, they love their reggae up there, so. Sick and tired of the pain every day, people are hurt like you and me. Good in my eyes, said I love you, my son. Get up. Shout out to Baker Boy's mum. Sometimes all you need is your mum there, you know, give you a little cuddle and that. So yeah, Baker mum. Crack of the lightning, your future is frightening. The ocean is rising somewhere deep. Yeah, man, like a lot of these Baker Boy tunes just make you want to wind the window down and go cruising around the beach. A couple laps around Bondi and that, eh? Like just cruising tunes. Alan is cracking from the drilling and fracking. Yeah, full Arnhem Land vibes, this one. Yeah, I can legit full picture the lads just lapping around Yirikala, like heading to the beach and that. There's strong messaging there, like the lads are talking climate change and all that type of stuff they can really speak to. You know, there's heaps of mines up there and whatnot, so it's like the lads are trying to tell you something there. Pip Norman helping the production. Pip Norman was doing like Earth Boy stuff and that back in the day, so yeah. Very knowledgeable producer right there. All right, here's uh, track 10. It's called Funk With Us. If I was naming it, I probably would have left out the end. Let me tell you what we're going to do now. Old school, much to get it back to me. Why am I going to put the electric on the gate there? Where all the hollies at? Where all the yappers at? Ali, it's a word for brother up there. Yappa, word for sister. So he's, uh, you know, asking where the brothers and sisters are at. Fun little song. Like, this is just straight energy, this whole thing. Like, you know, we're going on that journey. It's like ups and downs. It'd be mad to see him do this live to, you know, suss out what his, uh, his cardio ability is like. Maybe next he could do a Baker Boy aerobic class type thing, you know what I mean? I reckon that'll go off. That'll go off. So Baker Boy's crew, Baker Boy aerobics, just uh, chuck me a little bit on the side and, you know, the rest is yours. 
I'm not the type to do aerobics, but I might even sign up for that class, lad. Do you really want to get up? Do you really want to get up? Do you really want to get up? Somebody in the studio there dusted off the old vocoder. Good to kind of hear those old elements, you know. Like big 80s, 90s influence throughout the whole thing, which is like compared to like the stuff you hear today. And it's like, wonder why they chose to go that route, you know. But if if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I want to sit down and ask like, who, who's, who was he listening to growing up? I want to know this. I want to know. Listen to my shit. You can hear the Eminem influence, you know what I mean? Like the, even the little John, you know, even like young rappers coming up these days like you can you can hear the husky influence you know number 11 stupid dumb again if i was to name it i probably would have said stupid dumb dog baker boy for the children here we go you mad. We go. this is the the you know the back up like I can tell this is about to be some hard shit. <laughs> I've been waiting. <laughs> Here we go. There's some advice to you youngins out there. Jealous mob, kill them with kindness. That's the trick. They gonna say my name. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was mad, lad. <laughs> All these tracks is like get, got me picturing, you know, Baker Boy at a festival was smashing it. This is like the mad part in the set where it's like, you G it up mad, you know what I mean? You make it all quiet, get it all still, like settle everyone down and like everyone's like, fuck, what's going on? And you go, boom, we're going stupid dumb. And then that's when everyone loses their shit. That's when the energy picks back up and you just, you know what I mean? You go in. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. Welcome to the party, like Lottie Dottie, dance floor where you find me. Uh, we're gonna come to the party like Lardy Dardy was like a little, you know, reference to his older stuff. And another thing I want to know, who keeps coming in doing all these like real low tones, getting the, you know, Warren G Nate dog on in here, like, um, that's been popping up a fair bit in the album. We got a vibe, we got a vibe, me and the crew, keeping the party alive. Yeah, this little breakdown of the... I don't know what instrument that is, but it reminds me of like the SpongeBob theme song. So yeah, another tick for me there. I'm saying, hey, don't let it die, don't let it die. We go stupid dumb. Yeah, nice halftime breakdown in that. Sick. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a mad one. Stupid dumb. Now we're up to track 12, which again is a song that came out a little while ago. Metagen featuring Jess B. And, um, you know, if you caught the video to this, like big... Jay-Z, Beyonce at the MoMA vibes. Yeah, sick little clip, banging little song. Uh, let's get into it. Music is the metagen. These beats got us out of control. Well, drink your mind, get down on the... Yeah, mad beat, man. Like, you know, it reminds me of some, like, Missy Elliott type stuff, like Timberland production type of joints, you know what I mean? Cause I got this, yo! Yeah, see, like, that's something Missy Elliott would have done that breakdown right there with the ooh, like, yeah, mad. Baker Boy being in Arnhem Land and being, like, coming out doing this, there's probably a few other little rappers around the communities and that, but, like, I don't think anyone came out and done what he's done. Yeah, I'm keen to see what follows. That's what this is about. Opening the doors for the next ones. Yeah, yeah, baby, free your mind. If you're driven for the vision, then I'm down to ride. What a be drop. Yeah, Jess B, she's a beast. She's a gun. That was a good look tapping her in for this one. She brings brings the fire. You'll find and we still in the city, but the crowd going wild. Uh, yeah, keep it a picture. That's us, that's mob. If you with us, yeah, said like Jess is killing it. And then like she's dropping in our lingo there, like she said that's mob, you know what I mean? Arnhem Land in New Zealand, like who would have thought that link up was gonna happen, but shh, here it is. That's mob, if you with us, Jess B, yeah, the queen is in the building. You better come correct. The the Queen's in the building, best come correct. Like, yeah, like, makes you want to bow down, man. Like, she, she held that shit down. Music is the Medigen. Mad tune. Yeah, Medigen uh, means uh, medicine. That's how they pronounce it up there. That's how they say it. Baker Boy said, like, you know, he enjoys music. It, uh, it brings him joy. Uh, he likes to dance around and stuff. So, like, music is the Medigen, you know what I mean? And that's, that's true for a lot of people. Even myself, like, that's why I got into music, because it was healing for me has that ability to like, you know, heal you and heal others, whether you're making it or just listening to it. So yeah, 
This is uh, track 13, it's called Ain't Nobody Like You. When I get the best out of you, not the stress attitude, having good solitude, where everybody feels safe, comfortable when they stay, got me feeling like I'm wearing the cape, so no more casualties, but I casual ease, seeing more yappers got brought yeah, this one's just throwing me, eh? Like, it's called Ain't Nobody Like You. So you think, like, oh, so, like, she's going to do another love song type of thing. But the production's super hard. So I'm like, oh, mad. Well, what, you know, what's he doing here? Where, where are we going? So. Yes, a lot of little things like that, like black and white doesn't matter. He's, uh talking about some stuff here you know so yeah the lad said you know making this one was something he wished he had as a kid someone to look at and inspire which and again i think that's uh pretty universal when it comes to us black fellas um leaving our communities and trying to make something of ourselves all odds are stacked against us from from day one we're not supposed to be here baker boy's not supposed to be here i'm not supposed to be here writing songs to inspire the next ones to come through or yeah it's uh it's very important even just just being yourself getting out having a crack and uh, look at Kid Leroy. You look at him and be like, man, Blackfellow over there, biggest biggest artist in the world. He's, he's up there, you know, rubbing his shoulders with Drake and that. Like, so yeah, that's what we need, like, just to see more of us. Real world, not a dream world, gotta keep ah, so, so yeah, so maybe I had it twisted. Maybe it's, it's not a love song. So ain't nobody like you. It's like he's talking to him as a kid, you know what I mean? Like talking to himself, he's like, look, bro, there's no one like you. Just get up and go and do it. I know I can. Repeating the four words. I know I can. Third time to charm. I know I can. Two words. Yeah, like, I know I can. Boom. Mad. You know what I mean? I've heard uh, a couple of artists like, use that uh, recently. Barker done it. Say True God up uh, Brizzy done it. So, like, yeah, these fellas coming through with that messaging, like driving that home, you, I can do it. And you can do it. You know what I mean? Like, that's the stuff we need to hear more of and see more of. So, <clears throat> man. No, I can. Two worlds combined, opportunities come Every once in a lifetime, believe Seems dreams come, reality, no more fantasies Gotta break free, gotta be what you wanna be ooh, ooh, ooh. How's this Jerome Farrow, eh? Lad's got some pipes, man, he can sing And yeah, the, the chorus for that it's, uh, it's really hitting now, yeah, this um, this joint uh, This is a good one Do it like you, like you, like you Yeah, straight up, that was mad, you know Um. Yeah, that's a powerful one, lads. Sick. Last song, number 14, Make You Wanna Dance. Again, yeah, he's Baker Boy having a mad dance solo up on stage there. Yeah, like full, you know, full 80 spec, the lad. <laughs> it's a like driving drums, synths going off, vocoder again, like, yeah, mad old school throwback joints coming out the kid, so. Now I got a clear shot at it. Yeah. I'ma make a moving dance at it. Make you wanna dance. I can't even help it, eh? Like, the whole time I'm sitting here tapping me feet and stuff, so yeah, make you wanna dance. But I'm not up here busting windmills and crazy legs and all that type of stuff. I'm not really the, the dancing type. Unless it's traditional dance, but yeah, the lad, he's, he's got me here tapping. Dance, you Although, I can dance. All black fellas can dance. No, in fact, I just uh, choose not to. Turn the you know, mad little outro song, like it, it feels like the end, spaced out. You know, celebrate everything leading up to that moment. It's like, yeah, we're done. We're here. We've done it. You know what I mean? Geller, boom. You know, Baker Boy's been like a, a big, like, singles-heavy artist. So to, yeah, actually hear him knuckle down and get a project done, 14 tracks, all energy, all Baker Boy, you know what I mean? It's happy, it's positive, it's good shit. Yeah, so standout tracks for me, like, number one, be survive. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a joint I'm going to go back and listen to. I'm going to go home. Try and get me kill streak up on Call of Duty, you know what I mean? Have that blaring in the background. Ain't nobody like you. Another powerful tune. Good message behind it. Medigen, I like that one because he tapped in another rapper and like someone with a lot of talent. Come in with the bars, boom, boom, boom. Geller, I enjoyed it. There were some very surprising moments in there. Like I'd never thought I'd put the words Baker Boy hard as fuck together. You know what I mean? But 
he was firing. Baker boy's like just, just infectious. It's just a vibe. Like if I walk in here angry today, I'm walking out of here very happy. Um, so yeah, that's a good skill to have. You know, change, be able to change someone's mood and emotions. I wasn't angry when I walked in here, but I'm saying if I was, I wouldn't be now. That's for sure.